glad you're here, Black Company. Cartel forces are after our ballistic missiles. We'll call out their position from the base. You go get them. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Airbrusher Games and Art. How you doing today? Well, here's uh, number two of my brand new tanks. This is the Leo 2AV. A tank that I really like but have a little bit of mixed emotions about. Um, and I'll get into that, especially comes with the stats. Uh, first of all, there will be some lag. Um, figured out what was going on. I had uh, too much AA set up and it was lagging me out. So videos after this will be a lot cleaner than, uh, than this. Though this one came out okay. It's just got a few moments where you will notice it. Anyways, I'm running over here to kill this helicopter so we can get the uh, secondaries going. I'm going to turn around and head back. So I'm using the decent max speed of this tank at 68 kilometers per hour, getting up to uh, 32 kilometers per hour in just a hair over 6 seconds, 6.4. So it's got real good mobility along with a haul traverse of 27 degrees per second but it just you know I have everything on here except for like the last of the um, extra slots uh, you know like the mo like mobility and armor and technology those but all the equipment is on this tank they got the engines and everything and it it's a very capable tank and but it just it it feels like it's holding back for lack of a better word and honestly if if uh it was full on you know mobility with that with the speed and and higher traverse and higher turret rotation which on this tank is 29.7 degrees per second I think uh, it would be, it wouldn't be OP, but it would be a little bit on the ridiculous side because uh, the gun is good, but it's not fantastic, and that's what really keeps it from being OP, along with the, the kind of that feeling of, of not 100% performance. But that's just a, a feeling of it more than anything. It's not a direct result of how the vehicle actually you know, handles itself and how it performs. It's a fantastic tank. Well done. Now don't let them steal our but it, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't stand out. It doesn't have that something like when you first get into the M60 at low tier. It's the first I mean, tank it really call feels call like a main bruiser, rock'em, sock'em, get in their face, main battle Start tank. The There's a huge feeling difference in performance and capability between that tank and the one before it. Where this one feels like a step in the tree more than anything else. Not saying it's bad, um, but to me there's just not a whole lot that, that stands out. And so when I finish this tank, get everything on it and start getting up into the next vehicle after this one, uh, the next Leo that's out there. Um, you know, when I sell this one, I won't be thinking of the future where I might want to buy it back where there's a couple other vehicles that I would. Um, this just doesn't have that, but it has a very capable feeling of being able to get through, you know, everything you need to get through. So, it's, you know, hearing that, you might think, well, eh. I'm, I may not look forward to, you know, too forward to getting into this. We'll do because it's going to get the job done. It's a nice grind, but there's just, to me, there's nothing exciting about it. And here, I feel like we're too far away from the battle. I'm going to go ahead and move up. And uh, the one of the areas where this tank, and I'm trying to find a place to shoot this stupid thing. And I just, I can't, I don't have an angle from here. Everything is either orange or red, and I don't, and there's that lag. If you look up in the upper right-hand corner, you see the FPS counter. And sometimes when I get this lag like I'm happening here, it, just, it seems to last forever. And it's the AA, the anti-aliasing, which I forgot I had set up on it. 
is just chewing up my processor. Uh, this is CryEngine and AA is pretty pretty stiff in CryEngine, you know, pretty tough. But um, so you'll see I pop back up to where I need to be. So I kind of go up and down. I've since then have changed my settings, so you'll know you'll you'll see it in the next one. But this is where this tank excels. And again, not what you call excitingly. Um, you have the feeling of being in a competent tank where you can handle the situation. It doesn't feel like some vehicles, if you're up here, you feel like you're taking your life <laughs> into your hands. And the other ones just feel kind of boring because they're so overpowering of the AI in these situations that it's just ridiculous. This one feels very even and so therefore not very exciting. But again, it's not a detriment to how well the tank is. It's not saying that it's a bad tank, it's just, it's kind of boring because it's, it's good, but it's not outstanding. It doesn't have that thing, that thing, that, that thing you can't describe that says this is better than what you would expect or whatever. And again, I'm looking for somewhere to shoot these stupid things and finally get aside. You notice a lot of people um, give me a little bit of, of hell for being very picky where I shoot uh, in relationship to um, maybe not having as much DPM, which turns into experience and coin in the game. Whereas I'm choosing to make sure I get the shot, which may take away a little bit of, of uh, that experience in coin, the game coin. Uh, I'm making a, a, a thought out choice of what I'm doing here. But here's where this bread and butter of this tank is. You're up in the front line. Um, view range is 360, so these guys are popping in and out of my view range. They're right on the edge of it. Um, but the game still renders them. So if you know what to look for, you can see the enemy vehicle before it's highlighted. Before it's, it's you know, got the red bar over. You can see him right there. I can't, I haven't. I haven't spotted him yet, I, but the game has rendered him. <clears throat> and, uh, but the, the ammo is competent. And again, this is where you don't have like the huge thing of, you know, that excitement. But your armor piercing, fin stabilized, discarding Sabo, what a mouthful. You know, you're doing 391 average damage with a penetration of 334 millimeters, which you're gonna go through all this stuff here. I mean, you're not gonna have any problems whatsoever. Um, my rate of fire is just a hair over seven and a half rounds a minute, which is middle of the road. It's not bad, it's not good. You're gonna get the job done, but the aim time is just a hair under three seconds, which is excellent. That is really, really nice. And uh, sustained damage, the DPM of this tank is just a hair over uh, three and a half, or 3,050 damage per minute. So yeah, it, it does everything. It's in the middle. And um, yeah, there's nothing to complain about. There's nothing to get too worried about. It's, it's a very, like I keep saying over and over and over, it's a very competent tank. You're going to kill the enemy in it in a very precise, calculated manner. Um, and that in itself may be exciting to certain people. Um, to me, it's eh. I like having something that either makes me really work hard to make sure I don't die or that I kill everything. I want one end or the other. I don't, this middle of the road stuff which is really needed and competent, doesn't excite me that much. I know that it's gonna help me get through the tech tree onto my next vehicle. And here's a mistake I'm gonna make coming up right here in a second. As I'm taking aim on this guy here, I get a good hit and you see my friend here is moving up. See, he's moving up slowly and creeping up on me. Yeah, I just hit him in the back of the head. See, what happened is I was in sniper view. He doesn't know what I'm doing. 
This is what I keep talking about. Always be aware of your surroundings and your friendlies. You're in charge of your vehicle and what you do with it. It's not his fault, it's mine. Anyways, there we go. That is the end of this one. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Leo. Look forward to it, but uh, don't look forward to it not, you know, because it's exciting. It's just going to get the job done. Hope I helped you out. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon, my friends.